Gogsy here and welcome to an episode of Around the Grounds. Today it's Motherwell v Dundee and hopefully we're going to take three points from the fun club. However, prediction dad, what do you think? This is going to be a good day for the well. It's going to be a 1-0 win with a goal in the second half. I like the sound of that. But I'm going to have to say 2-0 because I'm, con I'm too confident for my own good but I think we'll win 2-0 boys. So the plan of action today is other than trying not to slip on my arse uh, I'm going to get the train to Dundee but we're not going at Nains Park we're, I'm getting a lift from Dundee to uh, Clark Park Now, we're getting picked up at the Discovery over there, so it should be fun. Oh, a pigeon just flew right past me. Oh, cheeky. There it is, this Discovery ship. Hello, cheeky. So here we are, sitting in Broxton, McDonald's, cheeky Fanta, and also, Nine chicken my nuggets and uh, large fries. Can't go wrong there. Now we're going to Car Park so, because we're now in Motherwell. But uh, also, we've got the return of the strawberry bonbons and we've got American Hardgums as well. So it's going to be a good day out. So I'm just, just talking to my uncle there and managed to get a wee photo with. The number one farmer himself, Tommy Wright, on the screen right now. Yeah. 
So now we have we have come back to the discover the city of discovery, and yeah, basically I was dropped off in Dundee because I'm getting the train back. Uh, but unfortunately, we've missed the quarter to seven train because it's now seven o'clock, and basically I'm just going to go to McDonald's and uh, get get another wee cheeky pun of fries because I'm still a wee bit peckish and maybe stock up in Fanta as well but uh, yeah it's, it's weird walking through the hometown or home place of Motherwell's rivals especially when I, well, I don't really live in Dundee however it's, it's been a fantastic day out now, if you're new to this channel, uh, you will not be aware that I hate going on the bus. I absolutely hate going on the bus. Unless it's like a supporter's bus like up to the ding wall. But, uh, no, I absolutely detest going on the bus when, I'm, when it's not necessary. So I've just decided, because McDonald's is completely packed, just to go back to the train station because uh, we've got about 20 minutes till the train. I legit ju just passed the Dundee supporters bus. I, I think I actually did. Because I saw it in Motherwell, just near Fur Park. <laughs> it's a small world.
I've got roughly another 40 minutes to wait here in Lookers because uh, Scott Rail decided not to have Cooper as one of the stations that are on this on the on the previous train's uh, you know route. So I got on the train and I couldn't find my ticket. But when I found the seat, found the seat. What? One of the nicest things that's ever happened to me as a Motherwell fan happened. Now, I found I found my seat and a group of fifty-year-old men or something like that. They they were a bit worse for wear. Now and they were on the way back from Aberdeen because they're Hearts fans. And there's nothing suspicious about this at all. It's just great because they. Uh, they saw me and they said, what's that scarf? I showed it. It's a Motherwell scarf. And they said, well, come sit down next to us. I mean, that's, that's, and we had a good chat about Scottish football and that. And when they asked me how, how often I go, I said every week. I said, I've only missed two games this season. And they said, that's, that's magnificent. And when I told, they were surprised when I said, I'm only 16. And it's just... It's a fin it was a fantastic moment, and then the ticket man came up, and uh, and I had I had to pay, and and he charged me six pound ten for the train from Dundee to Cooper, which is ridiculous. I think it's just the standard adult price. However, then the five. The five guys just decided to. They said, "Look, we'll pay for you," and wh which was which I was like, I was so surprised. Like, and they all chipped in, and yeah, now I've got a ticket to. Um, <laughs> now I've got a ticket to Cooper, but if if those lads are watching right now, I just want to thank them so much because. Like when I do videos like this, uh, it's it's not it's not just to show. Oh look how look how good a time I was. Look how good I I found my away day or something like that. And I I wanna I wanna prove to people that Scottish football is a good thing. I mean, people have been downing Scottish football for years, and this channel is about proving people wrong. It's about proving those. English football fans wrong about how, how good the Scottish game is. In my opinion, English football is overrated. And yes, you'll you'll say I'm hip, I'm a hypocrite for supporting Aston Villa, but the thing is, I think English football is completely overrated, and it's just it's just flooded with money. Whereas when you support a team like Mother like me, and when I make that one and a half hour jaunt to Fir Park every second week. The excitement, the the great experience it is people you meet, like the five lads that I met, they 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 came down from Aberdeen, and unfortunately Hearts didn't win uh, because of a stupid handball. But this channel is about me showing you guys how good Scottish football is, and proving the English football fans wrong about how bad it is. Because yeah, the quality is not the best. The banter's brilliant. The experience of away days, you'll never forget. Like a few, a couple of weeks ago, went up to Dingwall, got humped three scud. These things happen in Scottish football. Whereas if you're a Man City fan and you travelled into Plymouth in the FA Cup, you win seven 0 really. And what's what's the fun in that? Because you know your team's going to win. I mean, support a team like Motherwell, you're not always guaranteed to win. Anyway, guys, I shall see you when I'm next in Cooper. Oh, got. How long to wait? Half an hour. Oh dear. And one other thing is that after the ticket guy went back along the train, someone, someone actually, uh, the, the the five lads, they were, they they just stood up and started booing at him because he said, "Why would you, why would you ever charge the future of Scottish football seven pounds?" From, Coop from Dundee to Cooper, 
It's 14 minutes in the train, so I'm, that's technically paying like a pound for every two minutes on the train. That's outrageous. That is outrageous, mate. ScotRail prices, they are, they are overrated and I've been travelling with ScotRail basically all my life. But this year I've been, I've travelled on the train more times than I've ever had, had to in my life. Go on then, I might as well get a bus. I'm not waiting another 45 minutes here. Nothing to do. St Andrews, St Andrews, St Andrews, St Andrews, St Andrews, St Andrews, Bog Ward. What? What? Taxi it is then. Come on, boys. Right, my scouting mission hasn't gone to plan. There's no buses to Cooper from Lucas. I asked one of the taxis down there how, mu how much money I would have to pay to get from here, Lucas, which is only what, six or seven miles to Cooper and it, the boy said, guess what the boy said? It's a multiple of three and it's also a multiple of five. Fifteen pounds! What is that? What is happening? Is that to go towards his next income of drugs or something? Fifteen pounds! That's just outrageous! Fifteen pounds to f get from Lucas to Cooper when it's only like a pound fifty on the train. What is up? Seriously. And we're off. So, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that Mother was a good team. We scored goals. <laughs> uh, never, ever, ever plan on getting a train to Cooper from Dundee ever, 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 ever again. Make sure next time that the fourth road bridge is open. Because if it wasn't for the fourth road bridge closing, I would have taken an extra two hours to get from A to B. <laughs> but anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, please leave a like down below if you want more snazzy content. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and share this video so that ScotRail will get awareness that a famous YouTuber like me shouldn't have to wait 2 hours for a train to Cooper from Dundee which is 14 minutes uh, from, from Cooper. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to have a nap when I get home. <laughs> which will last over the course of seven and a half hours as well. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Take care!